still it's a stream and a, and a recording so cool yeah so for all those watching and then who will be watching in the future uh eric is probably one of those few people in the world who you meet and say damn what have, what have i done with my life uh you have been to riga how many times or latvia rather how many times i don't know i i would just make a wild guess and say maybe 20 times mm -hmm all right easily so do you have any opinions whether or not uh, during those 20 times let's say uh your opinion of of riga latvia has changed in in some way or or not um i know a lot of the financial like the economic history and what's been going on here that i tell me know. about it that i do know uh the difficult times that they had in the in the 2000s and then uh, later on uh, oh, sorry, in the, in the late 1990s and then the 2000s, everything got better and better. Mm -hmm. And they did, they did pretty well with the, uh, the, the, the uh, self-imposed austerity, and which actually worked out pretty well. But the people here, it's not like it's something really new for them. So that's probably why it worked out very well here, but it didn't work out in Greece. Have um, you, well, I mean, look, there's a challenge for me. If I ask, have you done something? You probably have already. <laughs> so I might skip that. Uh, so, what are, what is your comparison? Let's say you've been to Latvia many times. What is your comparison in in your view? Uh, how do we stand in the world? As uh, well, you can start off as an economy, as a society, all that good stuff. <laughs> I don't think most people know um, anything about Latvia. I think if sure. I go to North America, sure. um, I, yeah, I do actually have one one memory of where I saw the name Latvia when I was young. Hmm? It was, uh, I think it was a Spider-Man comic. For real? And there's Doctor Doom. Remember Doctor Doom was the guy with that metal... Let me the, just check it. He was the guy with the metal mask and really? like the green cape. He was uh, Doctor Doom. All right. And, and he, was, he came from Latvia. Are you, are you for real? Yeah, yeah Doctor Doom. <laughs> Doctor Doom came from Latvia? Yeah, he, came, he was... A, who a, made that stuff up? The, um, Stan Lee, probably. The, uh, the, the, the guy who, who did all the Spider-Man stuff. That, that's the Doom. There he is. That's Doctor Doom. Dr. Doom. Um, All right, Dr. Doom. Is that is that the one who throws those pumpkins? Uh, or not? Oh, I think that's the uh, that's the Joker, isn't it? No, no, no. The one no? the one in the first Toby Maguire movie who throws that pumpkin oh, I uh, don't know. bomb. Um, I don't know if that's him or not. Oh no! Look at that. He's from Latveria. Oh, Latveria. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, well, you know what? All that time, a, I, 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 I thought it was it was Latvia. How about that? It's, it's a fictional nation. Latveria. Oh, there it is. Oh, somewhere around Hungary. <laughs> Somewhere in, in the east of Europe where nobody yeah, has an idea. Because I guess yeah, those, those are the ones. Created by Stan Lee. There it is. Yeah. So. Latveria. Stan Lee. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the currency, Latverian Frank. Franks. Okay, you guys have a, a nice Latveria. romantic yeah, we don't, we don't produce there. the uh, uh, villains, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So, so you, you clearly have uh, noticed that nobody knows where Latvia or Latveria is. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't even think you know if people know the difference between both, you know, or that there is one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. So uh, yes, I, I'm, I could I could probably write in Facebook right now in my status. I am in Riga, hmm. Latveria, and just see how many people Good actually for you. Good actually for respond you. that. And I should put a couple pictures. So you know, exotic. I'll put the Blackheads house, and then I'll put like Doctor Doom, and just see if anybody <laughs> notices. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> yes, I'm here in Latveria, and it's a. Uh, there's a guy throwing explosive pumpkins at me, but it's all good. They got good food. <laughs> <laughs> they got the great desserts. Great pumpkin pie. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, bread soup. Bread so, soup. so uh, what, what's the what's the time span for for all your visits to Latvia? What what was your when was your first time? My first time was in the mid 2000s, I think. Mid 2000s. So, I, sp I suppose you saw just a lot of new wealth. Yeah. 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 A lot of, a lot of stuff flaunting. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the influence of the Noveroski and uh, <laughs> a lot of right. that. But I saw that also. I was spending a lot of time in the uh, in the uh, ex-Soviet countries, and it's very different. So I was spending a lot of time in the Ukraine. All right. And uh, so I would often transit here, actually, which is how it started. I started flying Air Baltic and the big investments they were making in the airlines and all those things back then. Yeah. Uh, where not all of them really worked out. So For sure. So I, I, uh, I flew with them actually quite a bit. Um, and as a result, I also tra uh, transited here several times mm -hmm. and I would make sure if I took a transit, I said, well, if I'm going through there anyways, yeah. instead of staying three hours, why not stay three days? And that's usually how I, I, uh, 
I, that's usually what I do with all my transits. So at that time, you were still um, most of the time traveling just for, f well, not for bigger experiences, but as, as, as a fun, fun trip yeah. in a way. My trips are still fun. Yeah, but that, <laughs> well, that's what I, what I wanted to get into. So yeah. now you told me you don't really, well, that's your lifestyle. It's, it's not re tourism anymore for you. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and now it's now it's pretty much just just uh, just what I do all the time. 